really proud of our football team. Uh, I think we had a couple weeks where everything went right. We played about as good as we could. And, of course, that's what you always try to do. But, you know, this, this team, uh, Virginia, they came ready to play. And, uh, you know, they had some big wins at North Carolina. Took Miami in overtime. They know how to play football. And, uh, you know, we got off to a little bit of a shaky start, but still had the lead. And then, uh, of course, the, the interception for a touchdown kind of shifted that momentum in their favor. They had the one fumble they picked up, went for a touchdown, got in their favor. But, Proud of our guys to hang in there uh, when things were not going our way and play to the end and find a way to make enough big plays uh, to win the game and get some stops at the end. You know, that's really how football works. Uh, so, um, you know, you go back and you, you try to learn from it. But, you know, when you play good teams, uh, you know, you got to just find a way to make one more play than they do and score one more point than they do. So, uh, fortunately, we were able to come out with a win. Um, and. You know, of all of our victories, I'm probably proud of our team to, for hanging in this one uh, than any of them because they could have easily lost confidence and started to doubt themselves a little bit, but uh, they didn't. They played to the end. So really, really proud of them. Uh, without question, you know, the, the one injured player for Virginia, I, I hope he's okay. Um, you know, that was unfortunate, but I, I do hope he's okay. Jeff, was there anything in particular in that fourth quarter, went back and forth, you guys were able to put it away in the lead? Was there anything that was done differently, an adjustment, or anything that, that you saw out there? Well, um, you know what, uh, the last drive that uh, we got, we kind of just called some simple little play action plays. Jack did a good job of throwing to the open guy, finding the check down a few times. Um, and then we did take one shot deep, and, and Amari did a great job getting open. As I look back on it, I need to find ways to get Amari and our slot receivers the, the ball more. But we have been running the ball well and not throwing it a whole lot, but I need to do a better job there. And then uh, our defense got a good stop, uh, got us the ball back, and uh, we ran a play to the weak side. Our line did a great job blocking. Isaac, um, you know, had a couple good series there, so we, we stayed with him. Uh, he took it, hit it downhill, saw the crease, and you couldn't catch him. So, you know, just a great play and, and, and great blocking by our offensive line. And, um you know, we needed it. So, you know, you just kind of hang in there and you just play to the end. And uh, it wasn't perfect, but, uh, you know, like I said, I, I really am proud that we, we hung in there and found a way to win this game. Coach, this game was a little bit like kind of like the ghost of Pittsburgh pass where, you know, some of the similar things happen. You have the pick six. You have the defense kind of get a little shaky, but then you guys turned it around. Do you feel like some of the lessons learned from that game helped both the coaching staff as well as the players to kind of right the ship and get things back on track? I think so. I think, um, you know, anytime you turn the ball over, it hurts. Anytime you turn it over and they score with it, it really hurts. And, of course, that happened in Pittsburgh. But, yeah, we continued to – get turnovers and miss field goals uh, like we did today. So, um, you know what, uh, we just kind of circled the wagons a little bit and got it going in the right direction and just found a way to make a few plays at the end. So, um, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, disappointed that we, 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 we had that little rut there. But, you know what, uh, I think as we continue forward, you know, we're going to play good football teams. We're going to have some ruts here and there. we got to be able to bounce back. we got to be able to, uh, you know, switch the momentum as quick as we can, not allow the game to get out of hand. We kept this thing close. Uh, we got a great stop, uh, you know, when, when uh, we stopped them for a field goal um, and gave us a chance to keep the, the, the game in scoring uh, range for us to come back. And I think it just gave us some hopes. I just think all of our guys played hard to the end. We needed every last bit of it. And I give Virginia a lot of credit, you know. Uh, they did a really good job. They came ready to play. And uh, they had a good second half, but we were able to finish it in the end. Jeff, you guys had games earlier in the year against Indiana, Georgia Tech, where you really had to fight to either hang on or come back. What do you think it is about this team that they've been able to kind of come together and not lose confidence, like you mentioned, in some of these moments? Well, I think we got a good coaching staff that, uh, you know, we try to preach hard work, preparation, all those things. But, you know, talk, that, talk, talk them through that everything's not always going to go perfect. Uh, everything's not going to be exactly the way you design it. Um, some days someone's going to make more plays. Some days the other guy's going to make more plays. But you just got to hang in there. You just got to play together. And, and these guys have stuck together. We've had some close games that uh, we easily could have lost uh, and be sitting here not near in the great position that we are. But uh, we found a way to win. So um, hats off to you know our coaches and our players because they have done enough to win the game. And, uh, you know, you go back and you – you circle the wagons, you try to figure out how can we get better and correct things, and we've done that every week. And, uh, 
we're not bashful about it, identifying the mistakes we make and how can we get better. Uh, so we'll do it again. Uh, and I think our team should enjoy this and, and get a little mental break uh, because, like I said, you know, we finished the season with two really tough opponents that we're going to have to be more efficient and, and play better in order to win. Kind of again on not losing confidence. Jack obviously had that stretch where he threw the pick six. I think it was a three and out and got sacked at the end of that drive. Do you talk to him after that or do you kind of just let him work his way out of his run? No, I talked to him and, uh, you know, he, he understood. He was a little – um, flustered a little bit. You could tell he was a little jumpy in there, but I've been in those shoes. You're, you're going to get a little jumpy uh, when things aren't going your way and you're getting hit and you throw an interception. You're going to lose a little bit of confidence. You just kind of have to try to, you know, take a couple deep breaths and, and relax and, and, and say, hey, give me another chance. Uh, let, me, let me go show him. And I just think he's played enough football that he knew how to do that. Uh, he rallied the troops. Uh, he had an efficient drive where he threw the ball where he needed to. He found a check down, and then he throws a, a wide open deep pass. He launches it out there, puts it right for Amari, a big one. And then, of course, the next drive was easy. It was a handoff uh, to Isaac. But, uh, you know, he played to the end. So I just think – Every little thing matters in these type of games, and uh, to come out of this one with a victory uh, is a great ending for us. Jeff, how do you approach uh, on a night where it seemed like things are out of sync early? How, how do you approach trying to get them back aligned? How, how did you kind of manage that tonight? Well, they did a good job uh, trying to stop our running game, uh, our inside zone runs and some things. They were doing a good job, and uh, you know, they mixed up the coverage a little bit, kind of confused our quarterback a couple times. We weren't as uh, precise as we'd like to be. Um, and we weren't as, you know, we had a couple penalties that hurt us. Uh, you know, Jawar was wide open down the sideline going into score, ran a little bit out of bounds, unfortunately, and that hurt us. Uh, and it's just kind of those things kind of stopped drives. And, uh, you know, their quarterback played well, and they made plays. They had receivers that could play, and, uh, you know, they made plenty of plays as well and, and challenged us. And, quarterback draw we couldn't tackle him uh, he made big plays uh, you know just fortunately we just kind of hung in there and like I said I just think we have been battle tested uh, we've had enough games that weren't easy so I think we are used to it and uh, while the last two were were great great days for us that's just not realistic even though that's always the goal so just proud that uh, they hung in there to the end It's kind of like cliche, I guess, but when you talk about, you know, the, their ability to hang in there and, you know, kind of come together, how much do you feel like culture and chemistry that has been building this season kind of plays into that? Well, I think it matters. Um, you know, we, we try to provide an environment here where starting with myself, working with our coaches and our players, we, we got to we gotta put the work in, and it's got to be visible, and uh, you got to be willing to, you know, do your part. And, uh, and I think when – when things don't go your way and you make mistakes, I have to take blame first, and then we move it to the coaches, and then we try to just figure it out with the players how to get it done because it's, it's not easy to play football. I mean, it's tough. It's a tough physical football game. Um, it, it, it takes so much preparation and toughness and grit uh, to go out there. we got plenty of guys that are playing injured, and, and, and uh, you know, Jamari Thrash, uh, you know, has a hand that he just continues to play through. We have other guys have injuries that continue to, to get back there. So I give them a lot of credit. Uh, so I, I just think uh, – it's a good nucleus of guys. Uh, they like coming over this building. They like playing in this stadium. They want to win. Um, they know it's not always going to be perfect, but I think as long as we just play to the end, um, we don't lose confidence. Uh, we, we, we try to continue to just fight and battle uh, throughout the entire game. Hopefully when it's over, you have one more point than they do, and I think uh, for the most part this year we've done a good job of that. Coach, um, you have that play where the defense forces a fumble, but it turns into a touchdown for them, and then you have the long injury timeout. What are you saying to your guys after kind of a gut punch play where you make a good defensive play, but it turns into seven points for them? Well, we had the interception for a touchdown, and then, of course, we backed them way up, and they just throw a little swing pass and make a tackle, and the ball pops out, and they pick it up and score. Um, so they just were getting some breaks. And that's, you know, I'm sure we got breaks as well the last couple of weeks, but they got a couple of breaks. Uh, they capitalized on it. Um, and I just think, uh, you know, we knew we just had to keep fighting and playing to the end. We talk about it all the time. Um, you know, we go against our defense a lot, and they completely shut us down. It's not fun, but you got to go back out there and try it again. And a couple of times we may have some days where we make some plays, but they got to continue uh, to keep battling to the end. So I just think, um, you know, it takes everybody on the team. Um, you know, they 
they want to win enough that they just stuck to it. And uh, I think our coaches coach to the end. We just try to stay in the moment, stay in the moment and, and, and play to the end and, um, you know, hope that, you know, you, you can get a win when, it, when it's all over. But, uh, you know, I thought our, our fans were into the game. I, I'm sure, um, you know, they were a little worried there for a while. Uh, but uh, they hung with us, and uh, we continue to play hard. So uh, proud of our, our, our fans for helping us out.